Hello friends, welcome back. I'm Faraz and today I'm really super excited to show you this new technology by OpenAI called ChatGPT. Now, what is an AI doing in Excel? So, well, just hold on my friends because this ChatGPT application will really amaze you the way it is going to respond to your queries. So, uh, just let me tell you that if you need to go and access ChatGPT, basically it's an AI application where it allows you to type your queries and it's going to reply you with answers. So once you go to openai.com, you come to ChatGPT and once you click on try ChatGPT, it will ask you to some login with your credentials and then you have the access. So as you can see, I have been testing around with a lot of codes over here and today we will see that how can chat apt help us solving the real excel problem so i'm first going to start with very basic stuff where i'm asking that okay hey chat apt can you please uh, write me an excel formula to extract the unique values from column a where the range from a1 to a7 so let's see how it does the job so you always start with a new chat and every chat has its own uh, script which has been written you have been discussing with that AI so you can clear it and you have different modes like dark mode and uh, there are updates and uh, FAQs so you can have a look so let's go and put it in light mode and send the request so as you can see over here it writes in exact formula what I have been looking for so let's copy this formula from here and you can see it has written the chat as well, extracting unique values. So let's come here, paste, boom. That was an easy one. So, and you can keep continuing the conversation with the chat GPD now. So let me take you to another example, example number two. Now in this example, this was a real life example where I've got this query from one of the chat groups uh, where in Excel groups are there. So this was a question being asked that the person I've requested that, okay, sir, if there is a unique value where the last nine digits are uh, matching, then he needs to highlight these two uh, cells, which is over here. So we're going to definitely use the conditional formatting, but let's see what does the chat AI uh, a chat GPT have done for that. So this was a request. I have written exactly the same way. I've given the example also over here. And now it has returned me this piece of formula. Now when I come over here and I paste this one, enter. Now first thing when you notice that I have asked him to compare the column with the column C. Okay. Now I don't know why it has went and did column B. Of course this is AI still uh, you need to use your your own AI that is your actual intelligence now this was a code being quoted by my friend you still need your actual intelligence which is Mark or Proctor is from uh, Excel of the grid so he says means you still need to use your own actual intelligence so let me keep the formula exactly what AI has given me and let's drill down and you see we got all the results as false if i'm going to use it in conditional formatting it will not work so let me go back to ai so then i had a conversation with ai saying that they returned me a wrong returns uh this range is wrong uh, this uh, wrong range return and then again it has given me then i told okay i use my actual intelligence when I come here and I paste this one over here, this formula, and let's drill it down. So you got the results, trues and false. This is the correct one which we were looking. Now, I had still more some com communication with the AI. And I asked that, okay, hey guy, do you have a better version of this formula which I have written? So it had returned me this version. Now, just watch what happens when I paste this one. And when I try to come here and paste it, enter, I run into this error. Now, if somebody is a very beginner guy, he will never understand why this error is coming up. A count a function returns only the range, not an array. So here what we are doing with the right function, we are passing an array 
and then in count if it is coming it is coming as a range so that's the reason it's not able to interpret that formula but of course you can wrap it into let function and then use the count and it will work fine but again it's not working so still you need your actual intelligence over here with the ai so then again i had some conversation saying that okay uh, this is a formula which is i'm getting this result again it is showing me that same and then finally i asked that can you give me a vba code so it has neatly given me the vba code but still i was running into some errors i told that uh, i'm getting the same error on which line and what it is in fact a specific line i have given and i told them that okay fine this code is also having an error and then finally i got a nice version uh, which it says that range it was highlighting different one uh, and so finally it gave me a perfect code after lot of <laughs> discussion with the ai so let's go and run it into example number 3 which is over here so let's come over here to the developer one and uh, we will go and say visual basic insert the model and we're going to simply paste oh sorry so we are going to simply paste the code come here and paste it and close this one and we're going to run this macro and run boom so this was perfect but not at one go i need to communicate i need to tell where was which line was error and finally it worked now let's jump to example number 4 where this solution i have built at many places and what it does basically like once you filter it it takes the range of this data and sends an email to the person with some summarized value in the email subject but uh, let's uh, trick the chat gpt Uh, I'll ask Chaji to write me an Excel XLOOKUP function where the range will be from M6 to M3. So I'm giving it in reverse order, and let's see what it replies to us. So let's go to the new chat. Let's come here and paste it. Enter. Now XLOOKUP. Ah, uh, so see the range has been exactly put it into the reverse order, and let's see what Excel does. Will it give me an error? Let's go and hit. enter and just watch it carefully i know what it's going to do it boom and come back and look at the formula it has automatically uh flip the range correctly so that's a good one so let's go to the north one south west so it works well in this case so let's go and ask to write a vb code now this is something really classic one and i used to do lot of work when i try to understand the code and uh, write this vba code so let's go and ask chat gpt and i'll just hit enter and let's see what it does it says that you can send it and it is giving me this as an object so it's writing it neatly and it says that uh, my worksheet name should be sheet 1 okay so let's see how it will work so it basically tells over here that what is going to do it uh sometime it's coming to you as well like sheet 1 written over here where in our case it is example number 4 so as i told you that you must have little bit knowledge about uh the excel how it works so we are just going to change it to example example number 4 so it's going to go and select that specific sheet and going to work it so let's let's go and add an form control over here a button that will send an email with attachment and we're going to bring name is send email so let's do it and i already have my outlook over here so we can see it in the send email it's going to bounce back because these are not the correct email addresses so let's send Okay so I got an error over here so when I go and debug over here so this is a, a stage where you have to uh go and ask AI that you're getting an error in this line but let me show it to you something when I wrote the same question over here 
and without any error i i was quite successful to run this code so this is this code over here and let me copy this each time when you ask it creates a different version of it so that's really interesting to see now just for simplicity i'm going to change my worksheet name example 4 to sheet 1 and let's send email send so that's gone north send and we can see over here that it's gone created that temporary file let's go and open it and you can see this pdf file boom so all i have to say over here is it's very important that you must have some basic knowledge to understand that how this code works so you can debug it over here and you can keep continue asking questions and there are some places where such questions and there are some places where it was not able to correct me out but as you can see in front of you i just wrote exactly the same question and i got two different answers so we need to add up our actual intelligence always when it comes to ai as well so because still it's new i think it's still learning new things but it's still amazing to see how how much effort the people have put up and brought it so easily stuff to be done for us like writing an xlookup like formula if you're a beginner and you don't know but you know there is something called xlookup function you can just simply go and write it and it does the job for you like we have seen in unique uh we saw the example over here the vba one and we saw this really complex formula which was having this range and you have to collect it and put it into subject line so you can really do some heavy lifting task as well and i've seen some of my friends they have made video mr bill chalan have really did a good comparison between uh, human versus uh, Uh, the ai that is really nice so you can also go and check the link and that is in the below video description you'll find it out so that's all from my side and do let me know in the comment section your thoughts about this video and i'll be really happy to hear from you and if you like to know something more about chat gpt with excel or any other office apps i would be really happy to uh, share a video on that so till then take care happy learning bye